hi hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel i missed you guys so today i would be doing a tutorial on how to cut this maxi palazzo jumpsuits and i'll just show some techniques on how to go about the sewing so let's get started now as usual i'll be working with pattern paper okay and um to avoid any form of wastage you should draft your pattern on paper so um, the first thing you should do is to leave about um, five inches margin away from your edge of the paper. So this line is going to be my center front, okay? And then um, you should also leave some margin at the top part. Okay, so as usual, this is the shoulder line. Then next you have shoulder to chest line, which is half of your arm circumference. Then sh you have... um. Your shoulder to your bust point, which is your nipple, then shoulder to your um, waistline, shoulder to the hip line, then shoulder to um, the knee line, the knee, yeah, and of course, shoulder to the hemline. And mind you, this um, style has to be floor length. It has to be floor length, yeah. You know, you can't do ankle, it has to be floor length. That's the beauty of the style okay so we're going to be drafting the body which is the upper part of the jumpsuits on my shoulder line i will be marking half of my across back measurements from the center front okay so half of my across back is seven i'll mark the same value on my um, chest line then i'm um, still on the chest line i'll be marking quarter of my bust circumference now i won't add any seam allowance yet okay you do that way and transfer the fab uh, pattern to your fabric now on the waistline i'll be marking quarter of my waist circumference plus one inch for that intake okay no side seam allowance yet then on the hip line i would mark quarter of my hip circumference okay so the only place we added allowance is the waist yeah now i would connect all the points together like so so just for emphasis i didn't add any seam allowance yet okay so i'll just blend up any sharp edge there now i'm going to connect my shoulder and chest line together since i marked the across back measurement on both lines then i'll go ahead to mark my neckline now for me i use 3.5 for my neck weight and 4 inch for my neck depth we might not use the same thing because we don't have the same body size. So you might need to measure yours. Okay. Now, um, with the aid of my French curve or armor curve, like some people call it, I will be drawing out my neckline. Meanwhile, this is my um, front pattern. Now, come down from the shoulder line by one inch. And then I'll be creating my shoulder slants like so. Then um, lastly, I would be creating my armor. It's my French curve. Yeah, so that's it. It's super, super easy. So don't forget, I didn't add any seam allowance yet. Okay, now we are going to construct the dart. So what you do is you divide your bust circumference by 4 and subtract 1.5. For instance, I'm working with bust 38. 38 divided by 4 is 9.5. 9.5 minus 1.5 will give me 8. So the distance from one input to the other, for me, it should be 8. But remember, the pattern is on fold. So you just mark 4 inches. That's half of 8. Okay, then I mark that on the hip and on the boss point and I'm drawing a straight line like so. Then on the um, waistline, I'll be marking half inch on both sides of that line to create my darts. And the dart should start at least one inch before the boss point and one inch before the hip line. Or you could do two inches before and after, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'll construct my darts like so. Okay, so basically this is more like a basic body, okay? yeah so i'm just shading out um the part for the dart like so and we are done with the upper part so i'll be moving my pattern paper slightly upward so that we can work on the lower parts now assuming you're drafting a trouser okay um and i forgot to mention sorry hip depth for jumpsuits and trousers sorry and dresses is always 24 inches on, on the average if you're sewing a dress or a jumpsuit Hip depth is distance from the shoulder to the hip line. It's always 24 inches on the average. Yeah. Now, if you're making a pant or a trousers, okay, your crouch line comes after the hip line, okay? And hip depth is usually 8 inches or 9 
for trousers and skirts so let me assume that i'm making a trouser now that line where i had the hip line i've placed my tape that's eight inches okay yeah that is eight inches assuming i'm making a trouser okay so my um tape is eight inches on the hip line now to get your crouch depth you divide your hip circumference by four for instance i'm working with 40 40 divided by four will give me 10. so normally for a normal jumpsuit my hip depth is supposed to be 10. sorry my crouch depth is supposed to be 10. but because this is a maxi um, palazzo jumpsuit you'll be adding extra three inches to whatever you got as your crouch depth okay so instead of marking 10 i'll be marking about 13. okay it's a maxi it, the crouch is supposed to be very very free you can even go you can even do as much as adding plus four so i hope that explanation was clear now the crouch depth comes or the crouch line is always below the hip depth okay but if it wasn't a maxi you just mark the real and um, crouch line so i've drawn my crouch um line now i'm going to create an extension after the center front okay all toward there now when you're dressing pants trousers um jumpsuit it's what we call the front and the back crouch extension now to get the front crouch extension you divide your hip circumference by 20 okay so for me 40 divided by 20 is um two yeah two so i will extend that line by two inches okay from i mean from the green line okay so my front cut extension is two then from that point i will mark my quarter of my hip circumference okay so on the hip and on the crouch line you have the quarter of the hip circumference apart from the crouch extension on the crouch line i don't i hope i'm making sense now with your curve i want to create a crouch for the front yeah the crouch should be on the center front line okay now then i'll connect my hip to my crouch line like so and blend up any sharp edges okay the next thing we are going to be calculating what we call the crease line the crease line creates imbalance on your trouser your jumpsuits whatever okay so from this point to the cut extension i will measure it and find the midpoint so that's six for me doesn't mean you're going to get six please you have to measure your own okay so um that's six now from that point where you measure to where the green line stops from here to here is four inches so i'll go ahead and mark that same um four inches on the hemline okay so that i can have a straight line from my crouch depth to the hemline using my long steel so uh, with my long ruler i'm going to connect you know here and um the midpoint on the crouch um line here yeah so once i draw this line this line is going to be my my crease line yeah it's created a balance between my front uh, um sorry between my side and my inseam okay now you know the midpoint is six so i can now mark my six inches you know there and um i will connect with my ruler i just hope we're following the tutorial okay so i'm extending the hemline to the point where i mark six inches okay then um i will now use my ruler to connect the crouch extension to the hemline like so okay then do not forget that um the midpoint of the crease line is six inches okay which is this same thing on the other side so i'm also going to be marking six inches away from the crease line towards this, this other side here and then i will connect with my ruler like that okay so the jumpsuit pattern is gradually coming out okay so i'm sorry let me just you know draw the line properly okay so um it's as simple as that the next step now is I will be connecting my crease line to the um, bust span line or the dart line on um, the bodies. But before that, let us mark our bust dart, which is two inches wide. Okay, so from the bust point to come down by two inches, like I've done, and they connect it straight to the bust point like this. So this is my bust dart. You can see that 
okay it's very 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 um important for this pattern yeah so i just hope we are following the tutorial i'm trying to zoom in so that we can see what i've done so far so this is it okay i hope we can see i just hope um you know the tutorial is clear i just hope so okay so um i said i want to link the crease line to my dart here yeah so i'll just use um, a smaller ruler to do that okay and connect like so okay so if you have been following my tutorial very well your crease line should connect to the dots you know accurately without any bends here and there okay so here now we are going to from this we are going to draft out the back pattern on the same paper <laughs> yes so you have to really pay attention here okay so first thing i want to draw the neckline for the back i'll come down by one inch and you can see that i'm using a different color of marker so that we can differentiate the front and the back pattern so i've done the neckline now for the back we're going to be calculating the um back crouch extension okay so still on the crouch line i'll be extending um that crouch line okay so back crouch extension is hip divided by 10 so 40 divided by 10 for me is four Please, you can, you are, yours might not be for um four because we don't have the same hip circumference. Please, you have to use your own hip circumference measurements. Okay, so mine is four for my back crotch extension. Now, from my center front, I'll be extending that crotch line. Now, where you have the green marker, okay, yeah, this line that is my center front slash center back. So from that point, I'll be marking my back crotch extension, which is four inch. Okay, that way. Then I will use my French curl to link it back to the center back line. I told her that this line is acting as both center front and center back. Okay, so this is my back, and the red line is my front. So I hope that wasn't confusing. And then for the back, it will be slightly bigger than the front by half an inch. So I will just move my pattern paper upwards towards the hemline. Okay. And then I'm going to be marking half inch there. I've already marked that. So with my ruler, I will connect that point to the um, back crotch extension. Okay. So I hope that wasn't confusing. Now we are going to be making use of our tracing wheel. We have to separate the front and the back pattern. Okay, so um, I will trace out the back. Now let me show us what we are going to be tracing. So for the back pattern, when you want to trace, you are going to start from the um, neckline. So before you do that, you are going to place another pattern paper on that like I've done. Okay, and then with your tracing wheel, you will trace out the back neckline, the shoulder slant, the armhole, then the side seam all the way to the hemline. Okay, don't forget we're tracing out the back pattern now. So, all the way to the hemline like that. Okay, then coming to the center back. Then you also trace out the, the boss dart. Okay, and then trace out the um, dart like so all the way down to the hemline okay please you are tracing with the tracing wheel not with your hands please okay and um and lastly you would start tracing from the center back okay so let me move my pattern paper upwards so from the neckline here you start tracing the center back you know then into the back crouch which is the green line not the red one the right one is for the front, so I'll trace into the back like that, and then trace out my inseam all the way down, and of course, I'll trace the hemline. Yeah, it's as simple as that. So I'll just go ahead and do that, okay, with my tracing wheel. All right, guys, I've done that already, and I'll be showing us the traced... Um, back pattern here it is so after tracing just use your marker or your pencil you know to trace out so this is my back pattern and of course um the original master pattern i'll be using that to cut out only the fronts okay 
So let me explain to us how we're going to be cutting on the front. It's pretty easy. You just start as you draw from the neckline. Okay, so like I said, for the front, you trace out the front neckline, the shoulder, the armhole, the side seam, like the back too. Okay, and then um, you trace the um, inseam for the front, which is the red line. Okay, then into the front crowd extension and the center front, obviously, on the neckline. Then you trace out the um, crease line and the hemline too. And of course, the boss that. Now, if you want an extension, maybe you want it to be like um, like boot cuts. You can always extend. You can always um, extend the hemline by adding probably two two inches on both sides, and then you connect it back to the um, crouch line. Anyways, that's by the way. Okay. So I've already cut out. So this is what my front and back pattern looks like. This is the back and this is the front. And you can see that on the front, the back is um, bigger than the front because of the crotch extension and of course the um, inseam. Okay. So let's continue the construction on the front. So now I will be cutting out my dart starting from the crease line here. So I'll just cut out like that. Then when I get to um, where I have the darts, I would also follow um, the dart line. So you can see what I'm do I've done. I follow one side of the dart legs up to the boss point. Be careful. And then I would um, cut out the dart on the other side of the dart leg like so. And you should also stop at the boss point, okay? All that radiates around the boss points. Now, I will go ahead to also cut out my boss darts and terminate at the boss points, like so. You have to really be careful here so that you don't cut out the um, pattern. So, by the time I close my boss dart with my masking tape, automatically, my jumpsuit is going to open up and I'm going to have... You know this flare like look to give you that uh, maxi look i'm trying to like open up my dart properly so i'll use my masking tape to um close the balls that okay so after closing it this is what you're going to be having you can see that because we transfer the balls that to the waist that you can see the opening okay and then trust me, this style is going to consume a lot of fabric. Yeah, I used about four yards. Yeah, four yards. So this is the front. And I'll be repeating the same thing for the back. It's the same process. So this is the back pattern. And I'm trying to show us how wide your pattern is going to look like after transferring the balls that to the waist that you can see it. So when you're transferring to your fabric, please be very magnanimous. Like, do not try to fold it in. You have to really spread it out to the maximum to get the fullest effect so you'll be adding seam allowance one inch for side seam okay then um, other allowances like um armhole and rest is half inch but there will be a zipper at the back so zip allowance should be one inch your zipper should get to at least the hip line and from there you add half inch for the crouch extension half inch inch seam allowance is um half inch okay so um I know the pattern is quite big, <laughs> yeah, so what I'll do now is I'm going to scale this down into a smaller piece, okay, so that we can understand better. So now to cut the collar, pretty easy. You take the front pattern, place a paper underneath and try to trace out the neckline, the front neckline like that. Then um, I'm supposed to take note of where the shoulder stops and the center front, so I'll just do that now. You measure the length or the width of the collar, okay? So let me just mark the center front, okay? And then, um, yeah, let me use my ruler so that I can know where the center front terminates. Same thing for my shoulder slant. I think the marker is not really showing, so I need to, like, do that again. Yeah, so I'll trace out the neckline properly and mark where the shoulder slant starts from exactly. Yeah, okay, so I'll be marking... 3 inch as a width of my collar round okay up to 
um, where the shoulder slant stops. This is my center front. Okay, so I'll just keep marking three inches. If you want your color to be um, smaller or probably wider, that's you know, a matter of preference. So I'm just marking. Yeah, so this is the color. Now for the center front, if you don't want it to be straight, you could just curve in a little like this, okay? And then we we'll just cut off this point. I think that's what I did. Yeah. So this is the neckline. You need to label the color. This is the shoulder, so that you don't misplace the pattern. Okay. So I will just cut out. And then for this color, you'll be cutting four pieces. You know, two will be serving as the main color. The remaining two will be serving as lining to the main colors. I hope that makes sense. Actually, this tutorial is not for beginners. Yes, it's for those who already have and you know like knowledge in sewing already okay so here is my color and you draw your green line label the center front so that you don't misplace the patterns just to be sure i'll be placing the color on my body's pattern now okay so here can you see it fits perfectly into the neckline okay so i'll be scaling down this into a smaller piece yeah so this is my scale down pattern now this is the back and the front so for the back this is how you're going to be spreading your pattern okay please you need to spread it out like to the fullest now i'll be adding half inch to the armhole the shoulder slants the neckline and then for the center back you'll be adding one inch for zipper yeah zipper allowance one inch then once you get to the um hip line you're now taking half inch for inseam and then half inch for the inner leg this is the back pattern okay so like i said this is a scaled down pattern so that we can have like an idea of how to cut it and join it then for the hemline we could just add um probably half or one inch for hemming okay and then side seam allowance is one inch because i never added any allowance when we're drafting the pattern okay if you like you could add allowance when drafting the pattern it depends on what works for you actually so let me just trim out the excess here okay and then and now i'll be cutting out the front still i'm working with a scaled down pattern okay so for the front i'll just be adding half inch round half inch round it's only the side seam that is going to be um one inch okay so um let me just cut out and then i'll quickly just give us tips on how to sew it it's not a full tutorial anyway just tips on how to join it yeah so um after cutting out this is what you're going to be having this is how your pattern should look like like i said you need minimum four yards and you should use crepe or chiffon sheer fabric and Kara will not give you this effect no so i'll be joining the center front with half an inch there then for the center back, I'll be joining after um, about 24 inches because I'm not fixing the zipper yet. Okay, so I've joined it and this is my back. I left um, space for my zipper. This is the front and of course, this is the back. You can see that I didn't join the top part. Now, I'll be joining um, the shoulder, front and back together at the shoulder. Then next step is to sew the inseam like that, front and back together. So you sew half an inch this way, half an inch that way. Okay, so here, this is it. And um, the next step will be to sew your side seam. So like I said, it's not a full sewing tutorial, okay? Now, um, if you are to make this, it's either I use bias, but I actually use um, facing to turn the neckline and the armhole, okay? So my collar was in between the facing and the main garment itself. Okay, and then you fix your um, zipper. Yeah, so it's really, really pretty simple. Then the last step will be to sew your side seam with one inch on both sides. And then <laughs> you're going to have something like this. Don't worry. I'll be showing us um, the final outcome. Okay, um, in the video I did. So this is what you're going to be having, basically. Okay, then you fix your zipper. Meanwhile, the color is not really compulsory, but I think it's, it's one of the main highlights of the jumpsuits okay this is a scaled down version so you might not really appreciate it now this is how it looks on me like this is how it looks it's really really nice yeah so this is my face <laughs> i hope you enjoy this tutorial please 
um, share with your friends, leave your comments and reaction. And also we have a paid class on how to draft a perfect trouser and jumpsuits on how to sew it. You can go through the flyer. If you're interested, click on the link in the description box and we'll attend to you. Thank you very much.